Okay guys, what I got, uh, this is going to be part three of the coffin uh, refurb. Uh, remember I was showing you these, these uh, coffin keys. Now, I found some on the internet, but they're like five bucks, ten bucks a piece. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and I found something kind of close to that. So, not exact, but I think it'll serve the purpose. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to put, got a little screw, inch and five eighths. I'm actually going to glue this to the bottom of that. If that doesn't work, I'm going to take and uh, try to weld these screws to the bottom. These have a little dimple on them, as you can see. I have to file that down. So I have a nice flat base to set that screw on. And weld it. And we'll, I'll show you how to do that. And we'll see how that works. Also, if you remember in my other episodes, the handles on the, the casket didn't quite match up. So I found four of these at Home Depot. They're old, rustic-looking things. And I think I'm going to have to bend a couple of these. And they're not exactly flat. They're kind of oval, so I might have to grind that a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I will find out <laughs> once I start. I hope I can bend this whole thing just a little bit for the top of the round of the coffin. So I'll show you how I'm going to do all this. So I've already took a file and filed that little nubbin down. And we're going to take some Loctite super glue and try that. Like I said, if it doesn't work, I'll take it and weld it. So that's about what it'll look like. So we'll set that aside and let it dry and we'll do the rest of it.
sanded this and got it reddish looking. Um, I really ain't happy. That's what I've been telling you. If it doesn't look like to you, you don't feel it, change that side. It's no big deal. Do it three or four times if you have to. Uh, so we're going to paint this thing gloss black. See what that looks like. First time I did this, I'm really liking it now, so let's get this thing done so you can see that. So, the first thing I did was take a piece of this and I stuck up underneath this. And I leveled up with my two end pieces because they're at angles. Okay, see them at angles. And I marked those out with a pencil and I freehanded a rounded top. So I've already got that marked and uh, let's cut that and see if we can't get it on here. I've already marked and cut. I'm just getting ready to cut this rounded edge out. So we can stick it on there and then once we get it on there and glued and it just hardens up. We take the sander and sand this down smooth and Put a little bit of a uh, 
edge on it and uh, paint it. Tipping to put this together inside. I've never done it, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to write it. I'm guessing at it. We'll go from there and we'll see how it comes. Now, I used a packing blanket for padding inside, and I'm just using an old sheet to put in here, then I'll bring it over and try to cover up that other packing blanket. So now we're going to try to make a pillow for inside of this. Uh, I'm not making this perfect. I don't know how to do upholstery or anything like that. So I'm, I'm just guessing and going. Just try to make it the best we can. Something different. So let's make a pillow. That might be interesting. So I cut it coming down a board. And I'll make it a little pokey and I'm going to use uh, an old curtain. Cut these metal rings out of there and hold it up, stick it on the board, and we'll wrap it.
<laughs> Alright guys, like I said, I don't know how to do this stuff, but uh, you know, at least try. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're going to try to make it as pretty as possible. So let me get some more stuff and uh, see if we can't fix this up. So here's uh, my church truck. I uh, repainted it. And uh, as you can see on this, the tires pretty worn out or flat or whatever and uh, you just can't find these anywhere so what I did is I took I took those old tires off and uh, as you can see I used a old dater or fan belt and I put it around there and glued it in I did three of those like that let's see Yeah. There's my church truck. All right, guys. My coffin is pretty much complete. I think I'm about done. With, I might tinker on a few little things here, there, and yonder, but uh, that's it. The church truck is done. The tires are fixed. Uh, we painted this coffin. This is Home Depot hardware. This is Home Depot hardware. Uh, sometimes you got to improvise with the things you don't or you can't get. And uh, let me show you this. Uh, this here is an actual viewing window. So, how this works is, whenever uh, the deceased is in, you tighten the top down. So all this, the top is down to the casket. And this will have a piece of glass inside. And you'll take this top off. And you can see your loved one in there. Oh. Right now we just have John Doe. That's how we got in there. That's a skeleton of corpse a couple years ago. There it is. Not too bad. There it is, guys. So there it is, guys. Uh, a refurbished coffin from the 1800s. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the first two was pretty boring, just sanding and crap like that. Uh, as you all know, I started out staining this dark. Then I just went ahead and painted it black. I didn't like the stain. So I think the black, I mean, it's it's midnight black. Everything's black on it. There's no color on it whatsoever. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the church truck turned out pretty good. So I'm anxious to use that. Uh, we got a car show coming up for too long, so uh, maybe I can use that with uh, my casket and uh, hearse on top of that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And remember, don't make it perfect. You'll drive yourself nuts. And you'll still turn out a beautiful piece. And uh, hope you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you on the next build.